All right, everybody, here we go. Uh, you know, it's really early. I don't know, I'm tired, but back on track. Um, what is today? I told you it's early. I'm losing track of time and space. Uh, it's Thursday, November 14, 2019. So we have a few things to cover today. Um, and believe it or not, despite the fact <laughs> that stock futures are lower right now, I would not be surprised to see new record highs even today. We got just enough bad economic news uh, to push this market higher. You know how it works. Bad economic news pushes stocks higher. Crude oil is catching a bid. It's nearing $58 a barrel. And you know the correlation here. <laughs> As crude oil goes, so goes the market. Period. The end. This is why right on my lovely website traderschoice.net you got my one two three boom system and right next to it is crude oil nobody makes it easier for you to capitalize on this market than the, this guy right here so again let, let's set the stage stock futures are lower uh, meaning stocks are set to open to the downside uh, after yesterday's record close but jobless claims uh, missed the mark here uh, hitting a five-month high, but again, ignore the propaganda. The propaganda is 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 just that. It's the labor force participation rate that matters. There are less people in the workforce today than there were during the financial crisis. You're not supposed to know that because our economy is booming. It's the best it's ever been. You know that, don't you? Of course. I mean, you know, you're hearing it from the top spot here in the United States, so it must be true, right? Um, let's talk about a couple of other assets. I mentioned crude oil. People mark my words on this. If you want to get long crude oil, do it. Um, crude oil is going up. Sure, it's going to move around a little bit, but the trajectory is higher, and not just higher, much higher. Despite, again, the fact that we are in a global slowdown and um, a demand is falling off the cliff. Crude's going up. Uh, that's a fact. Cryptocurrencies are under pressure right now. No surprise to you. Metals are catching the slightest bid. But again, with regard to precious metals, cryptocurrencies, with the risk on game that we have now, uh, instead of cash making its way into assets that should be exponentially higher no it's gonna go into the stock market here it's a rigged game it's rigged to the highest order and um, again what does that mean it's it's opportunity every time I sit here and I evaluate the markets and I look at my own trading chart all I see is opportunity 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 it just hits me in the face uh, and that's what keeps me going that's what this is all about it's it's not really you know yeah sure we all know where this is going in the end and even that is going to be opportunity for some people um, at of course the expense of the masses and this is a repetitive cycle it just never ends and it never will but this time I tell you there's nothing like it we are so far into fantasy land with regard to market valuations, P.E. ratios, the distortions that exist here, I'll tell you, when this finally does correct to a fair value, or actually, it's going to overshoot. You have to understand that, how these markets work. Um, and that's why the market is being made to do what it's doing right now. It's kind of like the, you know, pulling back on like a bow and arrow. Um, more and more, more and more tension builds up more energy, and then when that energy gets released at one point, the market's going to overshoot to the downside, uh, and it's going to overshoot in a big way to the downside. Uh, I mean, the potential for this for the Dow Jones Industrial Average to go so low as to people won't even believe what they're seeing is very, very real. Um, I mean, there can actually be a case made for Dow 3000, um, easily, easily Dow 3000. I know how insane that sounds, but I did a whole video about it 
maybe a year or two ago, and I think my case was very valid. Um, and that will mean at that point unbelievable opportunity for people because these companies do have value. You have to understand that. And um, when the market does way overcorrect, and it's going to way overcorrect, um, a lot of these companies are going to be dirt, dirt cheap and present incredible opportunities. You know, so again, what's going to happen? We have the risk on environment in the biggest way you can imagine. Whole market is fake. The data is fake. The fist feeding will continue. The fakery, the propaganda, and the lies will get larger and larger. The Fed is going to keep pumping this market. I mean, look, if we took anything away, anything at all, away from Yellowstone yesterday, talking about the expansion, um, the only thing that's expanding here is the stock market. Our economy is in free fall. Not a single piece, not one, uh, of good economic news for as far back as any of us can remember. It just doesn't happen, and the market keeps going up. Why? I mean, because it's fake. The Fed never stopped quantitative easing. We all know that. I explained this to you when the Fed announced they were stopping quantitative easing X amount of years ago. I said it never stopped. We also know that these central banks have been buying each other's debt under the table. It's never spoken about, but it's happening. So understand how this has been working now for uh, since the financial meltdown, and now with the Federal Reserve involved, involved in full-blown quantitative easing, the repo scam that is continuing, this is perpetual, like I explained to you. We have hundreds of billions of dollars being pumped into the debt market. What does that mean? It's going to, just like I explained to you what happened, is happening. The illusion of the normal yield curve is allowing cash to flow into the equity markets. I, I swear to you that sometimes I scare myself. I don't even know where I come up with this stuff. It's weird. But, it, I mean, look, to me, it just makes perfect sense. It's cause and effect. Cause and effect. That's what this entire market is. It's not real. It's just cause and effect. <laughs> it's so simple to capitalize on it. Anyway, uh, we know what to do. It couldn't be easier. Look, so anyway, that's the story with this market. Uh, more bad economic news today. Crude oil is nearing $58 a barrel. Both of these things are stock market positive. Uh, and it's going to get much worse. Much, much worse before it gets better. And when it gets better... It's going to get worse, if, if you understand what I'm talking about. Anyway, with that said, this guy loves you a lot. i got to get back to work, set myself up for this trading day. Please share the video, uh, and I will see you at the end of this lovely day.